Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the four best mini irons for sewing. This is not just sewing itself, this is for sewing um, a patchwork, a plique, fabric. Uh, so if you haven't already seen, I have reviewed each of these irons in their own video so you can see a really in-depth tutorial and, sh and view of these irons being used the features that work, work, worked well for me and what don't work well and what I think they are good for using. I will of course link all those in the description below so if there is one particular one you are looking at and still not sure go check out the video and you can see a bit more of an in-depth view. So before I got started I really wanted to talk to you about why you might need a mini sewing iron. It's something that a lot of people have if they're in the sewing industry um, it's something I think is very popular with people who patchwork and make quilts and I'm going to share with you my reasons why I have a mini iron. So my main uses for my mini iron is so I can get to my seams quickly. Small seams and intricate spaces are great because the, the surface area of the iron is so small that it doesn't, you know, create crinkles everywhere else in the fabric and I can just have it on that concentrated area. I also use mine for applique for small projects such as like um, making small um, items for the home. I do like to make quite a lot of stuff like that so that is another reason why I use it. And the final reason is just because it's handy to have. It's small, fits in the palm of my hand and it's great to have on the side of my desk next to my sewing machine or on my sewing table. Um, it's just quick and easy to get to. It can be there, ready, on, waiting for me. So if you're unsure if a mini iron is for you, then some of these might help you decide if it's viable for you to get a mini iron or just continue using the large one you already have at home. So here are some of the ways that you can use your mini iron. Number one, small projects such as cushion covers, reusable face wipes, pyramid pattern weights and pin cushions. They are also great for small intricate seams such as darts and pin tucks and pleats. Mini irons are perfect for using with patchwork, especially small patchwork and even for English paper piecing patchwork. And finally, fabric flower making. The mini irons are perfect for this. So from my personal preference and use, I'm going to rank these from number four up to number one. So let's get started. So number four on our list is the Cricut mini easy press this is part of the Cricut easy press range it is the smallest of the models here are some of the top features that you might need to know about the Cricut mini easy press so this mini iron weighs 835 grams in total which is quite heavy um, it's quite a sturdy iron the overall size is 12 centimeters this way and 10 this way which is a fairly decent size for a mini iron compared to some of the others. It's kind of in the same range, which is great. When it comes to heat settings on this, on the Cricut Mini Easy Press, it's just got a button here. It only comes with a couple of different settings, which you do just by pushing this button and it would show the lights here. So it'd show you if it's on low, medium or high. So it's still good if you're planning to use a different variety of fabrics, some of which are delicate and need a lower heat. Other ones are a little bit more tough, they need the higher heat. Of course, it does come with this handy little base. So it's kind of like a plastic on the outside and then rubber on the inside and then air holes at the bottom. Uh, this sits perfectly like so. So then it's got a little docking station for when you're not using it. As you can tell, this iron does not come with any steam settings. It is literally just a dry use iron. Something I really like about this is it's really easy to just hold and use. Um, it's got a nice little handle that you can hook in. Um, really easy, really soft um, and then the, you know, the, the plastic's really nice and smooth. I also really like that the cord comes out this side here at the back. Um, then it, it's not really in your way. You can use it, you know, even if you're left handed, you can use it. You can place it wherever and it works just fine. Something I don't like about this iron is the fact that 
the heat settings are not variable enough for me. I prefer to have kind of a bit more control over the heat settings just because you might come across a fabric that doesn't do well just on the low. It might need something a little lower than the low. Um, so that's a downfall for me. Though if you're using this to create Cricut projects, it's perfect. If you are looking to use this to do anything from patchwork to your ironing your seams on clothing or even applique, it's still a good iron but it's not the best for those projects. This is really more if you are wanting to do both the Cricut stuff and the sewing in general. This is probably one you'd get and just use it for both. Kind. What I really liked about this iron was is it's really sturdy and really good to use quite heavy so it's got a quite like structural sturdy base to it um, and it heat and the heat was very hot the downside to this was that it, there was no real variable heat settings there was only three which I, I feel if you're using these for different types of fabrics you need a bit more control over the heat setting rather than just the three it also didn't come with a steam setting which I find very helpful for those tough creases and folds in fabric I did however really like the fact that it came with a base which was sturdy and gave the iron some good airflow and that the cable came out at the back and wasn't in the way when using it. So number three on the list is the Clover Mini Iron. This is a handheld mini iron and it's more like a curling iron or a curling tong than it is an iron. Um, it's just the way that it's developed and structured but this is still a very viable mini iron to use. This I would feel is better for the fabric flower making or really intricate um, pieces of applique. As the head of the iron is so small and like one inch small, um, it's not quite as viable for larger projects. I would stick to a larger iron for those. Here are some of the things you might need to know about the Clover mini iron. So the weight of this iron is 365 grams on its own. It does come with a base, as you can see, this is the little stand, and you can just simply rest your iron on there while it's on, so you don't have to swap it, turn it on and off. And then obviously that's where it's safe, it's not burning anything. The size of the iron itself is 23 centimeters long and roughly six centimeters across really easy it's like a curling iron it's you can hold it in your hand just quite steady and easily and obviously because it's small it's very agile and easy to use so on this particular model there's just two heat settings you've got high on this side and low here and then at the very end you've got off the screwdriver is to if you can see this bolt here it's like a little bolt and you twist that and turn it and the head here comes out that means you can change the head to different ones I'll include an image so you can see which other set heads you can get for this iron as you can tell this iron comes with no steam settings it is literally just a dry use iron another thing to note is with this iron you get probably about a meter long cord which is perfect for any sewing room you want to make sure you've got enough to work with and enough to give Something I really like about this iron is the lightweight, easy to hold frame. It's really easy to keep hold of, you don't feel like you're going to slip um, and I really love the easy to use little stand. Folds away if you, know, if you don't want to use it anymore, though the downside to this is that it is so small. It's a very small space to work with. So it do, wouldn't be useful for large projects such as clothing seams, quilting and patchwork. After testing out this iron on a few different projects, I found that it worked perfect for applique. Just because the corners are often quite small, the projects themselves are quite intricate, the small narrow space of the iron head is perfect for things like that. What I really liked about the Clover Mini Iron is that it's really handy to use, really easy and it fits in the palm of your hand. It's really easy to grab hold of and really simple to use. The disadvantages due to the air surface area of the iron head itself being quite small, it does limit it to the uses it has. Number two on my list is the Geronic Mini Iron. 
This is very similar to the Prim, but it does have some features that the Prim does not. Here are some of the things you might need to know about the Duronic Mini Iron. The overall weight of this iron is 685 grams, which is 185 more than the Prim sewing iron. The size is, the length is 16 centimeters, and then the width is 10 centimeters. As you can see on the Geronic Mini Iron, it has a variable heat setting. The little nozzle here, you can just turn it to any kind of heat setting you want, from max to minimum, and then in between. This is perfect if you're looking to do lots of use a lot of different fabrics with this iron. Next, you'll see that there's two little dark circles here and here. This is your water gauge. See if you can see it a bit better there. It says max and then the line underneath. This is something you have to pay attention if you're using, if you're wanting to put quite a bit of water in to use the steam function, which is here. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so you want to keep eye on you, an eye on your water. With that, you do get this little cup that helps you fill your water up. Um, and this does have a line on it again, a max line. You won't be able to see it, I don't think, but it does come with a max line, so if you're wanting to really be careful, make sure you keep hold of that. But if you're wanting to use the steam on the iron, there's just a little button here that you press, and that will release the steam. One of my favourite features is that the cord comes out directly from the back. This has got a bit more height between the actual iron and the handle area, so it's able to have this section where the cord comes directly out the back in the middle, and still stand up without falling over. Extra part that comes with the iron, which is kind of like a steam setting. I think this is mostly for when you're using more delicate fabrics or things such as like um, velvet. My favorite thing about the Geronic Mini Iron was how easy it was to use and handle. It had a great amount of surface area for the actual iron. It was easy to hold, of, hold on to and it had everything you need with the variable heat settings and the steam functions. My bonus part of it was the fact that it came with the cable running out the back so it didn't get in the way and you could use it whether you were left or right handed. Number one on the list is the Prim Mini Steam Iron. This is the one that I personally use and have been using for over a year now and I just thought it was the best one out of the bunch. The un here are some of the key features that you might want to see about the Prim Mini Iron. I love this feature that the cord is at the back and it still stands up nicely. I would have liked a different feature for the steam, but that's just me, that's just me personally. Otherwise, I think this is a really good iron, really easy to use, lightweight, and it's good quality. It's well made, very easy. It's also great for a number of projects, which is what I really like. You could use this as a normal iron for your holidays or for small projects such as your seams for clothing, patchwork, and even some applique. So first of all, the iron itself weighs 500 grams. That is pretty much nothing compared to a standard iron. The overall size of the mini iron is 14 centimeters in length and around eight wide um, it's not very big so 14 centimeters roughly half a ruler um, as you can tell and it sits easily my hand on top like so what I really like about this iron is the ver variety of heat settings that come with it so it comes with this little dial and you can go from max to m minimum you know this is great because I don't work with just cotton, I work with a lot of different fabrics and dress fabrics. So being able to change the heat is perfect for me. So another feature you'll see is the steam set in here. Don't know if it'll be clear, if not I'll put a picture up now. When you order the iron you'll get like a little um, tub here ready to fill your iron up with. And it comes with a handy little drawstring bag just to keep it in. That's perfect if you plan to travel or you like to take your uh, projects with you on holiday. This holds your plug in place, so you will wind your cord around here and clip it there. And that just keeps it tidy, so you've not got you know your cord and your plug flying everywhere and getting tangled. Another key feature I really like about this iron is the rubber like 
part around the handle at the top it just makes it that you've got a bit more of a firm grip on it it's not a slider another feature I don't know if you put there we go another feature you'll see are these two little black bits these are the little stands so when you stand your iron up it stands on its own it doesn't fall over you've not got it you know sat at this that and other you don't have to try and rest it on anything it will just stand as it is so you don't have to worry about it burning your fabric and it's nice and steady tucked away i will point out my one pet peeve of this iron is the cord comes from the side this is great if you're working on this side and you're ironing like this and you know you're right handed but if you're left handed it can often feel like it's in the way um, sometimes I have a setup. it means that I always have to have my setup with my iron this side so it always means that I need to have a plug on the right hand side of me and I can't have it on the left the big advantages to using the prim mini iron is the variable heat settings the steam function which is really easy to use as you can have it permanently on or permanently off I also really like the lightweight feel and the overall easy use of the iron my only downside is the fact that the cable comes out at an odd angle on one side so it does tend to get in the way a little but if you have it set up in the right position then this shouldn't, have, shouldn't be an issue. I hope you found this useful in helping you decide if you'd like a mini iron and which one you would like. Let me know in the comments which, you want, which one you have bought or looking to buy and if none of them, if you have a different one I'd love to know which one you use. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, share it with your own friends, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.